So there's a thousand names in the world with a thousand different people that got all type of different variations of the names. But when it comes to the name Iceland, it looks like it ain't a whole, whole, whole lot of people. You know what I'm It ain't like a common name that actually got it. But now, you know what I'm talking about? A predominant black family, which is Gucci Mane. And his wife got the name, well, they named their, their child Iceland, which was spelled a little different than another black celebrity that actually named uh, their child Iceland as well, which is causing these two to have some sort of uh, aggression towards each other, some type of hate towards each other. So pretty much, you know, you've got Gucci Mane and their kid and their baby name is Iceland, which is spelled I-C-E-L-A-N-D, which kind of goes along with Gucci Mane brand, you know, some ice, brr, you know, some, well, not the bird, like the bird, like bird man, but like... You know, you know, brr, you know what I'm talking about, however the hell he said. But anyways, now you've got NBA young boy's baby mother with a new child and they named their child Iceland as well, but it's actually spelled I C L Y N N. So it's not land, it's Lynn, which is probably still pronounced the same. Well, this is causing ruckus between the two families, and I'll explain why right after the intro. Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I'm going to give a shout to Notification Gang, Key Talk Gang, for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyways. All right, so you got the detail that Janelle pretty much had a baby with some guy and he, that, that baby name is Iceland. And then of course, you know, uh, Gucci Mane's wife, Keisha, got a baby and they named their baby the same name, just spelled a little differently, right? So they're arguing with each other. Well, not arguing. They're kind of throwing shots at each other. I'll get into the shots they're thrown. But first of all, let's see why are they into it about the baby names, right? Well, let's start not talk about the lower class black people. We'll talk the upper class black people. Actually, we'll talk about the celebrity black people. So the celebrity black people, pretty much a lot of them come from nothing right a lot of them come from uh slums just not a whole lot of stuff right or they're married to somebody who came from nothing yeah just either way it goes right so whenever they get the opportunity to do get some money or become a celebrity uh where they have some sort of status because a celebrity that that's going to be their status they use celebritum as an actual status not saying that it's a status as in like black which means like a color but we're talking about just like another status right so Whenever they get to that kind of level or get any type of money, they like their exclusivity. You know, somebody shows, it gives them extra oomph, shows more specialty, how special they are because they're celebrities, right? So they got a baby name and then Janelle comes with her baby and names are the same name. So it kind of, you know, somebody kind of bump heads because of that because now you feel like another black person is jocking your style, right? You ain't got that exclusivity uh, that you deserve because of all the hard work that you put in. Uh, you don't have that anymore, right? So somebody pretty much tad Keisha, Right. And they said, I don't know, it's given a still in and then Keisha, uh, you know, baby name, pretty much the, 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 that name, that new name of NBA young boys, baby mama. It's just given a little bit of they still in it. Right. And she reposted it. So she reposted on Instagram and put the big laughing emoji. You already know this is going to set off a chain of events because not only is that going to happen, people blogs going to pick it up. You know, she's going to see it. Uh, Mini Janelle is going to see it. And of course, she saw it. So what she did, she said, too am old to be weird. You know, somebody I wasn't changing in for no on. Try again. Iceland, definitely her daddy twin. I just carry her life a lot, my beautiful princess. So pretty much she's saying that, you know, Gucci Mane's wife is too old to be, uh, you know, worried about her baby's name. Just stay in your lane, pretty much. Obviously, you know, so, and that's just, like I said, a lot of people brought that up, but here's the thing about it, right? Of course, NBA Youngboy is the baby, that's his baby mother, but this baby that they're talking about has no relation to NBA Youngboy at all, other than the fact that the mother of the baby is hit one of his kids kids mothers well right so he's not even really much involved in this yes NBA young boy and Gucci had that thing in the past but this doesn't involve NBA young boy you know this is just a simple argument over a name and if one person feels like the name is potentially being copied maybe it is maybe it's not who knows but it is over a name right and remember that exclusivity is a very important factor to celebrity black people because they have they want to feel special I mean and, and it's nothing to say that's wrong it's not can't blame that I mean that's just something that that's a mentality that you have especially when you come from nothing like i told you right so how do y'all feel about it though do y'all feel like this is an incident to where do y'all feel like janelle's really still in the name do y'all feel like she's copying the name do y'all think this is even a big deal or is it just kind of been blown out of proportion because the blogs picked it up 
Let me know some. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire ordeal. I'm out.